the sweat dripping down my naked thigh. Hello Mayans and welcome back to my channel. If you're part of that 80% watching this video who haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And please subscribe to my socials listed down below. And if you feel like it, send me snail mail. The address for that is also in the info below. Let me kick off this week's video by saying happy transgender day of visibility. Now I know there are a lot of transgender people out there who can't be visible for various reasons, but I myself love this day and because I can be visible, I am. And today I've decided to be super visible. Because you see, a little while ago I asked all of you to send in your assumptions about me. But instead of just doing the plain plain old, plain old of looking through the assumptions and answering if they are correct or not, I decided to make it into a little game. That means for every assumption that you get right, I'm gonna take off an article of clothing. And just like I do on many a Friday night, I hope I end up naked on this bed. <laughs> So let's get to it. And this first assumption is that I obviously like taking side view photos. And We Are One cites my profile pic as an example of that. Well, that assumption is wrong. I actually kind of hate taking side view photos, which is why in videos I also try to avoid that kind of side view as much as possible. Mostly because when you get older, this little part here starts kind of sagging and I hate to be reminded of that. So most photos you'll see of me are either straight on or kind of this angle. But my current profile photo is an exception and I actually really, really love that one. So go figure. Now Morgan Griffin writes that you really enjoy talking about the videos you make and talking to us about future projects. Okay, yeah, I really love that. I mean, I really love what I do. And sometimes I get really excited about it, so I want to talk to you guys about it. So congratulations, Morgan. That is the first correct assumption, so I'm going to take a piece of clothing off. And I'm going to cheat here. My first piece of clothing is a sock. Woo, exciting. <laughs> I'm being conservative at first because I have a feeling you guys are going to get a lot of your assumptions right. Okay, the next assumption comes from Appalachian Transman who writes, I assume that you'd be really cool to hang out with and get to know. I bet you're pretty laid back. This is one of those ones that's really hard to answer because what am I supposed to say? No, I'm not cool to hang with. Yeah, I'm cool to hang with. At least I like to think so. But as for being laid back, eh, I actually asked a few friends of mine and my best friend and they all said, no, you're not laid back at all. I like a direction, you know? I don't like to just kind of float on the breeze and go where things take me. I am definitely a type A personality. So I'm going to give you half credit for that assumption. So for that, I'm going to take off my other sock. All right, and there we go. I now have bare feet for those of you who are into feet. <laughs> The next assumption comes to us from Elizabeth Poucher, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And Elizabeth writes, I think that you want to share so much more, but don't want to be censored. I also think you're in love. And finally, that you laugh to hide nervousness. And to that I say, no, no, no. About as wrong as you can get for all of those things. If I really wanted to share more, then I would do what some other trans women have done who are on the platform, and that is just open up a Pornhub channel. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't really feel a need to show you all my goods. For that, you need to be a very good friend or somebody that I'm interested in. And sadly, at the moment, I don't have anybody. I know it wasn't that long ago that I had my girlfriend at the time on my channel, but we actually broke up a few weeks ago, so breaking news on that. As for laughing to hide my nervousness, no, not at all. I just love to laugh. That's the plain truth about it. And right now, from my perspective, I'm sitting in a room alone with a camera, a tripod, and a light, and a microphone above my head. There really isn't a lot to make me nervous. I've gotten way over those jitters. On to the next assumption. And Carrie Stabenow writes, you struggle with feeling relevant, wanted, or needed, even though people tell you you are. Okay, that one hit close to home. <laughs> Whereas the other one was like, no, no, no. This one is like, yes, yes, yes. I think a lot of us in the public eye struggle with an inferiority complex, uh, an imposter syndrome, and I am 100% a member of that club. And it really doesn't matter who gives me compliments or tells me that I'm relevant. There is a rather large voice inside that says, uh, no. <laughs> All right, so that's another correct answer. So another piece of clothing is coming off. So I'm taking off my shirt. Yeah, and I have another shirt on underneath. <laughs> I've learned from my friends, the burlesque dancers. You gotta have more than one layer on for reveals. Reveals are important, but this is that final layer. Once you get underneath this, it's skin. Taylor Hemphill writes, I assume you went to Full Sail. I saw you wearing a Full Sail shirt in one of your videos. I went there too. Well, great for you, Taylor, and congratulations. No, I did not go to Full Sail. Some of you may have noticed, in fact, that I just took off my Full Sail t-shirt. And what that's about is that I actually used to work there for a little while. So while I worked there, I got like mugs and pens and that t-shirt. Alas, the only higher education I've gotten to this point is my Princeton University degree, which is not too shabby, I gotta say. And on occasion, I've even worn Princeton shirts in my video. Now, Carolyn Hudson wrote a book. <laughs> this is what she wrote. You like to tease in aspects of your videos, so at least in your YouTube personality, you have a playful aspect to you. The videos where you confirm your sexuality in some ways are an interesting choice, implying a sort of youthful curiosity to you. I think there very much are sides of you and your life you keep private for good reason. And yeah, Carolyn, I think you are pretty much right on there. I like to think I'm playful, but there's actually a side of me that's very, very serious that I keep to myself, and there certainly are aspects 
aspects of my life that I don't put all over social media. For instance, I don't generally give a blow by blow of what's going on with whoever I happen to be dating. I keep that part very private because it can be intimidating to somebody who is dating somebody with a social media following. I also don't have my son on my social media even though he's nearly 17 years old. Maybe when he turns 18 and if he feels like he wants to, that would be a different matter. But for now, he's in high school and I'm gonna let him be. And as for youthful, yeah, I think I'm very much a youthful person even though I'm 48 on the outside. In some very significant ways, I think I live my 20s and my 40s. Okay, so now I have to take off another piece of clothing because Carolyn was right. I'm gonna take off my shorts. You know, my shorts. Now, if you've ever wondered what I'm wearing like below the screen on videos, prepare to be extremely, extremely disappointed. <laughs> I just wear these gray gym shorts. Cause yeah, I'm that kind of lesbian. So to recap, I'm now in a shirt, a bra, and underwear, and that's it. Okay, the next assumption is from Gamer V, and they write, I assume you randomly sing in public and everyone joins in. And yeah, that's true. I do randomly sing in public all the time. It really doesn't matter where I am. I just start singing to myself. I have no shame when it comes to that. Do people join in? Not usually. Most people are a little bit shy to do that. The only time that really happens is when I'm on stage and I'm singing a song like, what's up? Cause you know, it has that catchy chorus that everybody knows. And I said, Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? So what article of clothing should I take off next? I guess I could take off my underwear. So I'll be naked from the screen down and none of you will be the wiser. <laughs> And in the spirit of keeping some things private, I'm not gonna flash you my underwear. Just know that it's black like that. That's all you're gonna get. They were boy shorts. They weren't really that exciting, really. You guys are getting too many things right. By the end, I'm gonna be just saying these things naked, which I suppose is the point. Okay, now Ni Hamad writes, and again, pronunciation, I don't know. I assume that you're a very sexual person. I don't know why you would assume that. I do make videos that are very sexually frank, and I talk about sexual education for transgender people in a very honest and open way. But in that regard, I see myself more like Dr. Ruth Westheimer, who if you don't know who she is, look her up. Yes, I like to have sex just like everybody else, but it isn't really one of my top priorities. To me, I want somebody I can talk to, somebody I can snuggle with, somebody I can kiss. I love making out with people. That's great. But sex, eh, I kind of actually do it better myself. Now, Christy Huffman writes, I assume you didn't like me when I would see you at Southern taking pictures. So I took initiative to make a point to get to know you. You are a beautiful soul and sometimes you feel unapproachable. So that's an assumption about me that's completely wrong. I have been told that more than once when people see me out walking around. I don't know, maybe I have a resting bitch face or something or maybe the fact that I'm alone and I'm walking confidently through a crowd can be intimidating to people. But the truth is, I love to have people come up and talk to me. And that's happened plenty of times as well. People will come up and say, I love your YouTube channel or they want a picture with me or something like that. I love that. Please do that all day. <laughs> now, Elizabeth Elder wrote, I guess a part of me assumed that you would be politically more progressive and left-leaning. Mm, yeah, and I say that's pretty much correct. I'm a very far left liberal person. I live in the United States. And yes, I wish we had a lot of the social programs that you can find in just about every other civilized country in the world. Things like single payer universal health care. I think the wealthy should be taxed more in this country. And obviously I'm a supporter of things like the Equal Rights Amendment and protections for people based on gender identity and sexual orientation. Yeah, I'm for all of that. Now we get to the shirt and I'll be down to my bra and that's it. Now Jennifer Fior writes, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is my very, very good friend Jennifer, who's actually been in several videos with me, like this mukbang video we made together, as well as the transgender friendly lesbians. You live in a perfect bubble filled with cookie dough and just enough hardship to make for a great YouTube channel. <laughs> I wish I lived in a cookie dough filled bubble. If anybody wants to send chocolate chip cookies to my snail mail, please, I'll make a whole video just about that. I mean, she's partly right about, you know, having hardship making for a great YouTube channel. That is probably correct. But I would say my hardships are just a little bit more than small. For those of you who think I live in an ivory tower, I do not by any stretch of the imagination. My mom was an undocumented immigrant. She had to clean houses to make a living. I try not to ask my parents for very much growing up, you know, because I knew they didn't have the money to really stretch that far. My dad used to say, we were lower middle class and that was probably pretty accurate. All right, now we come to the final assumption and it is from Catherine C who writes, mine are you have a good heart, you genuinely care and you like big booties. <laughs> That's good, I like that. But yeah, I like to think that I, I do have a good heart and I do really genuinely care. A lot of these videos are part of my soul. They're little pieces of me. It's part of the love that I wanna give out to the world. And hopefully these videos will still be around and helping people way after I'm gone. All right, so that worked out well because now I get to take off my last piece of clothing. That is my bra. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, the girls are free. <laughs> And I like my bra, it's actually really cute. 
But there it goes. Completely naked on this bed. Mission accomplished. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you learned a little bit more about me. If you have any assumptions about me that I didn't answer today, please put them in the comments and I promise I will answer them. As I said earlier, all my contacts, social media, everything is in the info down below, including my Patreon. If you have a dime to spare, please consider supporting me in what I do. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to like my video. Please share my video and please subscribe. And on that note, see you around the interwebs. Thank <laughs> you.